Hi, my name is Ken Bishop, Sales Engineering Director here at Interface, and I'm here to help you get started using your model 920i Programmable Indicator and Controller. We're going to now connect the load cell sensor up to the 920i box. So what we'll want to do is unscrew the screws from the back of the unit so we can have access. Then we're going to undo the cable cap, cable gland cap, and then insert the load cell wire through the cable gland cap, and then through the cable gland, and then into the box. And then as we route it in, we're going to wire the sensor into the 920i connector. This particular 920i is a four channel. Today we're going to scale one of those four channels. That'll be scale or channel number one. That's the position for it. After we're done doing the wiring, then we are going to secure the cable gland cap and that will hold the load cell wire in place and strain relieve it. If you did not purchase the calibration from Interface, the next step will be to calibrate the load cell to the 920i indicator. Sensor widget displays will already come set up from Interface as a part of your purchase. So, as you can see, we've connected up the rest of the load cells. This particular indicator is a four channel, so we have all four channels connected. And now we've also plugged in the power and we're going to put the indicator into configuration mode. We do that by pressing the yellow button located in the bottom corner of the indicator. I push down on the yellow button, let go, and we're now in sensor config mode. Now we're going to perform the calibration. As you can see, we've got the configuration screen showing and it's highlighted under scales and that's where we're going to start. We're going to arrow down and today we're just going to scale one of the four channels and that'll be scale one or channel one. As I arrow down we get scale one, arrow down one more time, now we get another level of the menu. We're going to move over one from grads to calibrate and then hit enter and we're going to start by setting the zero this type of cal is going to be a two-point cal, and we're going to do live load. So we're actually going to capture the zero with nothing on the scale, and then we're going to capture the load that we're applying. And in this case, we're using a 10-pound weight. I'm going to hit enter under W0, and this is where I do an entry, zero count. We're going to have zero load on the scale, so I'm going to enter in zeros. Then press the enter key, and now I'm going to arrow back to W0, Arrow down to show the zero value, because that's the value we're going to capture. Make sure the load cell is unloaded, and then press calibrate. You can see it's capturing the zero load right now. Once it's done, we move up one level, and now we're going to move over two spaces to W span. Span is where we're actually going to set the value we're going to live load onto the, the uh, sensor or load cell. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to enter in 10 for 10 pounds. Press the enter key and now move over one back to W span and arrow down to show the 10 pound value. I'm going to load the sensor with a 10 pound weight and then I'm going to hit calibrate. Now that uh, indicator has captured the load. I'm going to unload the load cell. Arrow up one level. Now it's going to allow me to save and exit. I press the triangle below that and it's saving and exiting right now. We're going to go back into the real run mode. There we are. As I said before, we're just working with scale number one. So I'm going to load scale one with 10 pounds and there we have it we've got a 10 pound load and we've calibrated successfully 
Thank you for joining us and enjoy using your Interface Model 920i programmable indicator and controller. If you require any further support, please contact an applications engineer.